Despite all the pictures and videos circulating online, I know that some of you still struggle to find timely and accurate information about the Dakar Rally. Well, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the official Dakar's website to dig all the information you could ever want. The live location of the racers, the maps and graphs of the stages, the latest news, the standings, lots of articles and footage about the rally history, and even sort of a private area meant for competitors. It will be a simple video, nothing too fancy, just a... Hello adventurers, my name is Diogo Guerra and this is Off-Road Of Course. Along these 15 days of the Dakar Rally, I'm going to release a series of videos called A Spy in Dakar mostly to show you all the reports and the stories that I'm getting from my friend John, that is in Saudi Arabia working as a mechanic for Team Bianchi Prata, but also as a spy for us. Today, however, I just want to share a bit of practical information, show you the potential of the Dakar's official website, and that will hopefully help some of you to follow the rally properly this year. So let's go. Let's write down Dakar.com. Right here on the landing page, let's close this for now. If we scroll down, we can see the ranking on stage 5. So these are the riders that already finished the race and the, the ones with the best times for the bikes, the originals, the quads, the cars, and then the others will appear here when they finish. The SSVs, the prototypes and whatnot. Below we have the general rankings. So this is the, the overall rankings of the rally after stage 5. If we click here on live timing, we also can see the, um, how, how long the special was today, 395, the bikes departed at 745, 134 bikes left the first, the first waypoint and 52 already arrived. For example, for the SSVs, 46 left, 0 arrived and that's why we don't have their results yet. While the race is still happening, while the checkpoints are still open, there will be here on the landing page a yellow button for the live feed. If you click it, you will have access to the, the live timings and you should have access here to the map as well. But for some reason today the map is uh, failing. So let me show you if we go back to stage 4, that was yesterday, we can see the map. And we can um, use this scroll right here to go back in time and see all these little arrows are the riders, we can see where each of them was at any particular point in time. We can also alternate from moto to quads and to cars and whatnot, and you can see what they have been up to throughout the day. So some guys were lost, as you can see. Okay, let's go back to stage five. If we go to live rankings, you have access to the times of all the riders or all the drivers in, let's change this to motorcycles, um, along the many checkpoints. If you change this here from gap to time, you can see the exact time that they, they for example, here Kevin Benavides uh, took 1 hour 28 minutes to reach this waypoint. If we change to gap, we can see that it was 1 minute 42 slower than the fastest rider. Uh, here we can click on favorites and this will allow us to mark all our favorite riders and this will let, let, let us see them on the, the table a bit easier. I marked all the Portuguese riders of course and I want to wish the best luck for all of them and I hope you guys enjoy and have fun as usual. If we click here, we have the live news. We have a little piece of news every couple of minutes, every 10 minutes, 2 minutes. And this is uh, short pieces of information that let us know what is going on on the Dakar, well, live. If we click on rankings, it's, well, it's similar to the live timings, but here we only have access to the final results the, after the stage. Um, we can see the penalties once they are applied. They usually, it usually takes uh, some hours the gap for the, to the best rider and the time of each one, the teams and so on. If we click down here on the statistics, then we have also here the progress of the bikes, the quads and so on, a bit more information. And we can see here 
the most the, the most successful riders and how they are progressing throughout the stages throughout the rally please remember that the live section of the website will only be there while the race is happening while the checkpoints are open so after that they will remove the yellow button from the website however i have copied the link i have put it down on the description so you can access that area of the, the that feature of the website at any time you want let's go back to the the landing page the first page of the, of the, the, the website and now we will click on route we can choose any stage right here but let's click route again because this will allow us to check the map the overall map of the rally and this is interesting because you have here 1b 2 3 4 5 6 these are the stages uh, and if you scroll down then you can click on each stage let's see today's stage it will be 50, 560 kilometers total 346 will be the special so the timed uh, part of the race let's click let's close the live timings if we scroll down we get access to the a bit of articles pictures videos and throughout the day they will uh, also post a bit more highlights and the best images and whatnot so this is worth checking let's keep scrolling down and now we have the map for this specific stage and as we can see they so the cars and the bikes today are are doing a different track the dotted line is the liaison the liaison we can see here today was 214 kilometers liaison means connection in french and this is basically the distance that the riders and the drivers must drive from the bivouac to the beginning of the special stage and on the dakar this is usually a big distance so today 214 kilometers were liaison and as we can see here part of it was before the race then you had the race and then you had another liaison after the race to go back to the bivouac here on top of the map we can click on profile and this allows us to see the the altitude throughout the track and also the types of terrain go back to the landing page now we click on competitors and we can see all the competitors motorcycle quad car and so on if we click on them then you can see some information about physical information history of the their participations on the dakar their vehicles their rankings and so on okay now we will click on rankings and this is uh, well again the timetable uh, here you can change from general to stage ranking so this is the overall results of the rally this is the today's stage and here we can change the many vehicles and classes inside them uh, this has a particularity this table that you can see these uh, colorful labels right here and what they mean if we click here is that the yellow riders are legends so these are the riders that have raced the dakar more than 10 times the blue ones are the rookies racing the dakar for the first time and then the reds are the original by motul that used to be known as the moto male and male means box in french what these guys are well they are the true heroes of dakar they are the ones that ride or they, they ride all the rally without having a mechanic a team any support except for the box that the organization will carry for them so the dakar's organization will take their box from bivouac to bivouac they can have inside the box their spare parts their tools their gear but that's that's mostly it they don't have any other kind of support they have to ride they have to fix their own bikes and they have to take care of their own logistics so the true heroes and it's a bit of a shame that they don't get enough attention I would love to see more riders each year trying to race as originals by Motul but unfortunately if you see the TV broadcasts they usually barely mention them you never know what's going on and well it's a shame I think they deserve more attention anyway let's move on we have here the Dakar world this is where you can for example see what TV channels are broadcasting the, the Dakar very useful to some people you can see um, the history of the Dakar you can click here for example on the quotes and see what the most famous riders or racers have been saying throughout this edition and here on discover Saudi Arabia information about the host country Saudi Arabia pretty self-explanatory 
we have the videos and the photos and this is a, a section that you should not ignore because there's a lot of cool stuff from other years you have here for example the educational videos that are very well done the Dakar's future very interesting ideas the guys are are planning for the future stage five stage four the highlights the we have here somewhere the scrutineering i always love this so make sure you pay a visit to the gallery last but not least we have here the competitors area on top of the the website and this is not a secret area but it's kind of a private area for the participants so here you have access for example to the regulations the PDFs with all the technical regulations, safety regulations, and so on. You also have here the fees, and here you can know how much it costs to, to register a vehicle in the Dakar, and a bit more extra information, always very useful. And you have here, for example, the preparers. This is the, the recommended mechanics in each country that can prepare your vehicle for the, to race the Dakar. And we have here my first Dakar, where they, they share some checklists, some information, and, you know, useful stuff uh, for you to plan your participation on the Dakar. Or just to get to know a bit more information of what's going on behind the scenes, which I always like. Well, guys, and now I'm done talking about the website. I hope that this piece of information was useful to at least some of you. I think the, the website is very complete and useful and it's worth checking out. As you can see, throughout the duration of the rally, I'm not going to follow my usual plan of releasing only one video per week. All this information is time sensitive, I want it to be fresh and relevant to you, so I will release smaller videos whenever they are ready, whenever I feel it's time to show you. My next video will probably be about the reports and the footage that I'm getting from our spy, John. So, stay tuned for that. Ah, and I am also going to interview him once he comes back to Portugal. So, I would like you to write down on the comments any questions or topics that you want to see addressed. Please don't waste this opportunity. Well, and now I'm done. Please don't forget to like, to subscribe, to hit the thingy and to share. Share this video with one of those friends who can't get enough of the Dakar and probably he will love you forever. See you next week and happy rides! Thank mm -hmm. you.